This is a review video for dynamics and compression for production two. Wouldn't it be great if we could change our levels? Wouldn't it be great if they were all sort of recorded at the same level so you could hear everything in a mix? Well, this is what we're gonna do with dynamics processing. So here's the voice track we're gonna work with. Downtown Belleville is home to the area's most unique music facility. Pinnacle Music Studios is in an historic three-story building housing a full-line music store. Nothing really wrong with that voice track, except for perhaps the voiceover talent itself. But as you can see, the levels here are kind of low. And if we put that with music, our whole commercial is going to be kind of low. Nobody really wants to hear that. What we want is a nice strong level so things go together well in a mix and we can still hear the voice. So we're going to change our levels. The first way we, we're going to do that, effects, amplitude and compression, normalize. So what we're going to do here, we'll, we'll deal in dB and I'll show you percentage in a minute, but we're going to normalize to a maximum level. Now we don't want to normalize to zero because that means it's going to just have our, our over light lighting up all the time. So we want to normalize to just below zero. So minus 0 0.1. That's just below the zero threshold. Our normal light or over light will, will never light up. And if we look at that in terms of percentage, we want somewhere up close to 100%, but never actually at 100%. So we'll normalize that voice track. And look, we've got some, some big peaks here and some big peaks here up close to zero. And there's some little parts here that are kind of quiet and are going to be difficult to see here because they're only peaking at about minus 15 while everything else is right up at zero. So that's kind of a big dynamic range to, to hear. So we want to control that more, and that's where dynamics processing comes in. So effects, amplitude and compression, dynamics processing, and you get this pop-up screen. Everything that would be on the center line, this blue line or this red line, right on the one-to-one the -one neutral line. In terms of a ratio, that one-to-one -one means there's no change. So what we're going to do is change it a little bit, and that's using this control point right here called the threshold point. The threshold, when you walk into a house, you cross the threshold to come into the house. So in dynamics processing, you're gonna cross the threshold and go in and process the dynamics, but if you don't cross the threshold, you're still outside of the house, there's no change, there's no dynamics processing there. And that's this part, the number two section of this line. All we're dealing with is the number one section. So let's move our threshold to about minus 20. There we go, minus 20. So everything from way down here at minus 100 to minus a 20 dB is not going to change in the least. The next control we're going to look at is this breakpoint here, and this controls the ratio control. And as you can see down here in the ratio data box, as we move this point up and down, we get a different ratio changing. And let's just put that for now at about three to one. Now what this means is, so from here up to here, no changes. As soon as we pass this threshold point, for every three dB the audio was going to go up, we're only gonna let it go up one dB. So there's where our dynamic change is in terms of dynamic range. The last control I want to point out is this one here called makeup gain. Because we're not letting the audio rise up as far as it would, if we set that to zero, that means we're just bringing the level down some more. So let's apply that and I'll show you what it looks like. See, our level goes down. So let's undo that, go back to the effect and show you what makeup gain does. Squish the level down with the dynamics processing. So we're going to make up some of the gain we just lost so we'll say five dB for now. And let's apply that. And you can see we still have a very low level. We didn't apply enough makeup gain. So we can correct that with the on-screen volume control. And you can see that our levels, we still have some peaks, 
but our quiet parts are much more consistent across the middle here. Downtown Belleville is home to the area's most unique music facility. Pinnacle Music Studios is in an historic three-story building housing a full-line music store, specializing in Yamaha pianos, digital pianos, professional and home keyboards. So what we're hearing there is the audio, the loud parts made not so loud, and then the quiet parts made louder. Part of those quiet parts is the, vo the breaths. They're much louder. Everything that was quiet is going to get louder as well. Now, the sound of this doesn't sound very natural. It sounds very tight and, and very squished. And what I'm looking for is more of a level control, but still sounding natural. So let's play around with some of those controls and see how we can make it sound different. So there we are back where we were. The original voice track just normalized. It's home to the area's most unique music facility. Pinnacle Music Studios is... And if we go back to Dynamics Processing. So let's change this and go from minus 20 to about minus 30. Now, the other change here is just by changing this point, so that changes where everything starts, but look at the ratio that was at 3 to 1 is now a little less than 2 because we've changed that relationship. So now every 2 dB that was going to go up we're only letting it go up 1 dB. So this is a much gentler form of compression, but it's happening earlier and it's going to have a little bit of a different sound. And we'll keep our makeup gain at 5. So still a very low level. And if I just bring that level up, you can see we have more peaks developing because we're not hitting them quite so hard. And we'll see how this sounds. Downtown Belleville is home to the area's most unique music facility. Pinnacle Music Studios is in an historic three-story building housing a full-line music store. Still a little bit tight, a little bit compressed. Still those soft voice breaths are coming up a little more than I like. But I could deal with that. What I don't like here is that we have these peaks. And the peaks are still a little too different from where our quiet parts are. So again, let's undo that and try a different setting still. So instead of minus 30, we'll take it up to minus 15 or so. And again, because we've changed that, you can see that the ratio has really changed. So instead of allowing it to go up 6 dB, we're letting it to go up 1, and that's really going to squash those levels down. That might be a little much, but you know what? Let's, let's just go in and see how that sounds. So again, we still have more to do with the make makeup game, but look how consistent our, le our levels are going across the board on this. Downtown Belleville is home to the area's most unique music facility. Pinnacle Music Studios is in an historic three-story building. So still very tight, very squashed. Breaths, not so, not so bad because the soft voice parts came up a little bit more. Peaks, better controlled. There's still a couple of, of high ones we can play with. But let's go back one more time and try and find a perfect compression setting for this voice. So the minus 15 is a little much. Let's take it down to minus 17. And we'll take the ratio back to about a little over two and a half. And since we know our makeup gain has to come up, we'll take that up to, oh, nine. So we can see peaks, still a couple of them we have to deal with. Belleville is home to the area's most unique music facility, Pinnacle Music Studios. Breaths, not overpowering sounding. And home keyboards. Voice, still a little tight, but if we put that into a mix, it's probably going to sound pretty good. So let's work with that now. So we've got a much more consistent level. The breaths aren't kind of overwhelming, but we still have these annoying little peaks that just won't go away. So there's one more tool in Dynamics we can use, and that's the hard limiter. The hard limiter is the equivalent of taking a hedge trimmer to somebody's hedges and making those nice square, perfectly symmetrical looking hedge, very flat on the top. That'll just trim off those, the new growth in a hedge. Well, the hard limiter does the same thing. It trims off those high peaks. And again, we want to set our maximum amplitude. So we don't want it to be zero because that's going to hit our overlight. We want it to be just less than zero. 
and then how much we're going to boost. So if we can see here, we've got peaks right at zero and then our next peak is at about minus two, at minus two. So we're gonna amplify things by two and a half dB. And these two controls, the look ahead and release, we can ignore those for now because we're just dealing with the basics of hard limiting. So we're gonna boost it a bit and trim off everything that would have been over minus 0.1. So let's apply that. And look, we get a very square level. Everything that would have been peaked, you can see has been trimmed down. So all these peaks that would have gone way off scale have just been chopped right off. If we zoom in on this one, you might be able to see how they've kind of squared off at the bottom. And this doesn't affect the sound, this just affects our level. Downtown Belleville is home to the area's most unique music facility. Pinnacle Music Studios is in an... So we never lit up that overlight and we were right close on the zero point. Downtown Belleville is home to the area's most unique music facility. Pin and the low point of our audio was just past minus six. So our dynamic range has gone from somewhere over 17 to about 6 dB. So now when we put that with a music bed, that's gonna come out louder, it's gonna be easier to hear in a mix, and it's gonna be easier for the listener to hear on the radio.